Integration by part is a technique in which we add a term we can integrate to reverse engineer a product rule. To take an example, say we want to integrate x times cosine of x. Well, this looks pretty hard, but here's what we can do. We can add sine of x, where note that we know how to integrate sine of x. And not only that, when I add up x times cosine of x plus sine of x, we know how to integrate this too, because that's the derivative of x times sine of x by the product rule. By evaluating each one of these integrals, we get the desired answer. But now you may ask, this came out of nowhere. How did I come up with this? So let me now give you a more systematic way of doing this. The first step is to pick a part to differentiate and a part to integrate. Here we picked x as the part to differentiate and we picked the cosine of x as the part to integrate. Now we differentiate x, we integrate cosine of x, and then generally we want to set it up such that when I multiply these two things, then we know how to integrate this. Now we multiply the top left and bottom right entries of the table, which is x sine of x, and we subtract the integral of the product of the bottom entries of the table, which in this case is just sine of x. And now by integrating sine, we get exactly the answer we had before. More generally, when you are integrating u v prime dx, I differentiate u and I integrate v prime to get this formula, which is exactly the integration by parts formula. Now to give one tip, you may have to apply integration by parts multiple times. For example, say you want to integrate x squared cosine of x by differentiating x squared and integrating cosine of x. In this case, integration by parts gets us this expression. And how do we evaluate this integral? Well, we know how to do this. We do another integration by parts. Because when we integrate by parts x times sine of x, then we now actually get an integral that we know how to evaluate. So the final answer is this. But it can get even more tricky than this. Consider integrating e to the x cosine of x. By integrating by parts, we are at a situation where we have to integrate e to the x sine of x to which we integrate by parts again, from which we end up with this expression. Now the trick is to move this integral to the left hand side and realize we get this expression. So now dividing by 2, we get what we want. If you haven't, do more practice and you'll know how to integrate by parts.